Hello, and welcome to this overview of the Technical Collider Creator rigid creation workflow. In this video, we'll be going through the rigid creator, which creates physics collision for rigid bodies, which are usually dynamic objects like crates, props, and other incidental items in your game. In Collider Creator, you create multiple hulls, paint the surfaces that go with those hulls, and set their properties. From that, you then press the generate button to create actual physics colliders with all the properties that you've just set. Here we're going to be adding physics to this chair. First, we open the window from the window, technical collider creator, and then rigid collider creator option. This opens up the editing window. Then we select the object that we're going to add physics to and press generate. And for start, we're going to use the auto method. So we can click select all, change the type to auto, change the auto settings to high, and then just click generate. You'll see a progress bar. It'll have a little think and it'll create colliders automatically based on these painted faces. We can hide the overlay holes here a little bit by dragging the slider down. And now we can see the generated colliders. You can see how this matches the general shape of the object pretty accurately. If we want, we can go back and edit some of these settings and regenerate. But for now, let's demonstrate the manual method. We'll start again by opening up the window, selecting a new object but we'll use the chair again. Hitting generate to get a fresh asset. And now we can simply paint the faces for each collider we want. After we've painted the first leg, we can press the add hull button, which will get us a second hull. It will automatically assign a different color and we can just start dragging to paint that leg as well. We can quickly do this for all four legs and each one will get a separate collider generated in the end. Once we've painted all four legs, we can hit the generate button and you can see we'll have a collider created for each one of these with multiple colliders on the same game object with meshes. And we'll just take the opacity of this down a little bit here. We've got four convex hull colliders around each of these legs. They don't have to be convex hulls. We can change one to a box and we can change one to a capsule. Hit regenerate and you can see it updates with the correct components here. If we move on to the chair seat. You can see we don't have to paint every single face. We just really need to do the extremes. So we'll just paint a few around here and a few over here and a few over here. And then when we hit generate, we have a collider that wraps around the whole lot. Moving up to the top, we'll make a new hull. And here we can click one face and use the expand selection multiple times to quickly grow. And this will expand to all adjacent faces until it's got this whole plank of wood. And we can simply repeat this for the other backboard. Now when we're painting the side supports here, after we've made a new hull, at the top of the tools section, there are several brush sizes. This lets us paint larger areas easier. Now, so far, we haven't actually assigned any physics materials to any of these. Now, we can choose one in the default section, pick the wood physics material that we've already got made, and by choosing apply to all, this sets this material in all of the hulls. And we can generate, it will create all the colliders we just marked up, and you can see on the collider components, their material has been filled in by the one we just applied to each hull. The last two handy things you probably want to know about are the as child and trigger options for a hull. If we make a new hull, 
and just sparsely paint these two edges and set it as a box. And this will be a trigger volume for detecting when a character has sat down on it. You can set the name here and then tick both the as, child and trigger options. Then when we hit generate, the as child option will mean that we get a new object underneath the chair. It will have the box collider created on it. And because we tricked as trigger, then it has the as trigger option on the collider as well. The other thing we can see is that the trigger box that we've created has actually created a slim object between our two painted areas because it's a child and it's rotated to fit the tightest amount. Usually the tightest fit is what you want for getting accurate collision. But here, because we want the whole of the chair face as a trigger volume, we can change the box fit setting to axis, which will always create an axis align box. And then when we generate, you can see the box fits the area where we're going to sit down much more appropriately.